Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a full moon in Scorpio reading for my dearest Scorpios. I'm just going to send a shout out to not, all, not only all my Scorpios, but my Scorpio moon brethren out there. Um, I'm a Scorpio moon, so I love tapping into Scorpio energy. Um, so this is the super pink moon, and this transformational full moon is prime for deep processing and healing, which you guys know isn't always easy, okay? So with Scorpio energy, it can draw out our darkest shadows and our most enlightened selves. So anyone who's been refusing to deal with lingering conflict, there could be some major awakenings and shakeups, okay? Um, this full moon does form a harsh T-square with disruptive Uranus and Taurus and Saturn the Taskmaster. So already difficult situations could really hit a boiling point, so that's something to be aware of, okay? But we're being asked to keep calm, and any turmoil will be just temporary. Um, we have all the power to pull back and find logical solutions, okay? So Scorpios, let's go ahead and jump into this. As I'm doing the reading, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, I have them listed and some of them linked in order of appearance, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this. Messages for Scorpio, please, for this full moon in Scorpio. Wow, okay, so we get freedom, beautiful. We get karma, interesting. So you guys, you're ready to walk through some sort of portal here. You're really freeing yourselves up. <clears throat> Probably healing and clearing some major karma between you and somebody else, or just even, you know, just your own karma. Yeah, look at that past life energy. Okay, yeah, so many of you guys, you're freeing yourself from past life karma because you've been doing the work. At the bottom of the deck, we get soulmate energy. So for some of my Scorpios out there, this may have to do with your soulmate relationship, whether you guys are in union or not, okay? But I love this freedom. You guys healing and clearing some really deep karma, okay? Past life karma, Scorpio, I love it. Not easy work. Woo! All right, these cards are popping. Okay, so the cards that popped out, the Seven of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords. Okay, so something that was previously hidden from you, um, you're able to see very clearly. Yeah, very, very clearly, and you're making a decision, or you already have made a decision about this job, this person, this relationship, what it is that you need to do. I love, I just keep being brought back to that freedom card, Scorpio, freeing yourselves from unhealthy relationships, patterns, or behaviors. Okay, so the first card out is your energy. Look at that adjustment. So in this deck, this is the justice card, um, in, but it's represented by number eight. So I love that. So this is karma, Scorpio. Oh my goodness. Double confirmation of karma being brought into balance. You guys have, you guys have done the work and the universe is balancing things out for you. It's bringing you a lot of freedom and it's and you're allowed to step through this new portal. Okay. For some of you, it may be in a particular relationship, but it's just, it's deeper than that. It's at the soul level, Scorpio. So the truth of your relationships right now or how you're presenting yourself to, you know, to the world, we, we see the Ace of Swords. Scorpios, many of you guys, you may have gone silent on someone or even just really withdrawn from, you know, from people, from your friends. You've really gone MIA here with the Ace of Swords to sort of suss out, to figure out what's going on, okay? Because it is confusing as you're going through this deep transformation, so needing that time on your own. Man, you guys, the Three of Cups in Reverse has been dogging me in all of our readings or, or us as a collective. So the Three of Cups in Reverse, these are the intentions that you should set with this new this full moon. So full moons, you guys, are time to release. And what I'm seeing here, it's time to release anything that just wasn't serving you. Okay, it's about it's all about balance. Some of you guys, you are calling in your two of cups, you're calling in your soulmate. For some of you, you know, the three of cups in reverse, it could be, again, I get this energy of you really pulling back on people or on a particular person going silent. Scorpio, you guys have gone MIA or you, you know, there, there's nothing quite like Scorpio silence. And that's what I'm seeing here with the three of cups. You're doing this in order to bring yourself back into balance, get clear on what it is you're releasing. Um, becoming enlightened here as well. 
All right, and and I do get there's like maybe because there was an energy of a, like gossip or you realize that other people's energy around you was sort of infiltrating or influencing, you know, the process that you're going through. All right, so wow. Wow, what you need to do, the universe. This is a major cycle coming to a close. Now, for some of you, it's in a particular relationship, right, where you're healing and clearing karma between you guys that you've generated from a past life. So it could be soulmate energy, it could be um, twin flame energy, but you're absolutely closing it out. You're closing it out, and that's what's giving you freedom, either to take things to the next level or you may be leaving somebody behind, okay? What you need to do within, we have the Princess of Swords. So this is about, you know, this is about being prepared for this new journey, Scorpio. The Princess of Swords is, is you know, sometimes, you know, is known as sort of the stalker of the Tarot. Um, the Princess of Swords is, you know, it's about investigation. Um, she's ready. She's one of the most prepared princesses or pages in the deck. But look at how fierce she is. So this is you coming into alignment and I think also you're not going to be holding back. Like when you come out of silence, like you're going to know what you need to do. You might be having, you might be telling somebody off here, Scorpio, you know, like somebody, if you were in a situation with, you know, somebody had you in a third party or somebody wasn't, if this relates to a particular relationship, you know, somebody was, I don't know, like somebody was making you uncomfortable or they weren't putting enough into this connection, or maybe you were waiting on some sort of reconciliation. Scorpio, I see you doing all of this work and closing out this cycle. And this is you like telling someone off. And, and But more than that, it's about you coming into alignment and speaking your truth. And you're like, you know what? I'm ready for something new. I'm free. What do I do with this newfound freedom? So we see the lovers in reverse. So what you need to know, there's, yeah, you're making a major decision. Some of my Scorpios, you're walking away from a soul contract. Now for others of you, if you're here about job or, you know, you're about job or health here, you're making, a, you've made a very tough decision. Um, and many of you guys, that tough decision is being in separation or separating from a karmic, a karmic situation, closing out a cycle. For others of you, well, let's see. And then we get the four of wands. Wow. Excellent. So this is what I'm seeing. Some of you guys absolutely are leaving a karmic situation. Um, and that's bringing you stability. And that's actually calling in your twin or uh, an, an aligned soulmate. Because this is karma. These two, these three cards can be cards of marriage along with the three of cups. So for some of you guys, you are, you are walking away. You're severing ties with, uh, with, a, with a past life energy, with a karmic, so that you can call in your stability and call in your 1111 it's bringing in a lot of peace and for some of you you've, you've decided to walk you know to walk walk the I want to say walk the line but walk your path alone okay so it's like better alone than in bad company is what I'm getting so we have really strong Libra coming through we also have um, you know your energy Scorpio Aquarius um, Leo and Taurus and we have Gemini energy coming through really strong so the two of Pentacles so what I love about this energy you guys the two of Pentacles is the snake that's eating itself right and it talks about ascension but in this deck here what I'm also getting is the Sun and the moon and I feel like this is your divine counterpart and you guys there's some sort of karma there's some sort of cycle that has been keeping you separate okay so bringing yourselves back into balance is also bringing you this new beginning Beginning, okay a new beginning and it's something that you've waited a long time for okay but there needed to be some healing and I feel like once that healing takes place Scorpio this really is going to come rushing in I love that you get this overall energy of um, the four of wands here so some of you guys again it was making a, a difficult decision maybe to do things very differently and you needed to pull back in order to do that and it doesn't necessarily mean if you're in union with your soulmate or your twin flame or you know with your life partner that you guys have to separate you know the lover's card is all about making a choice for some of you you may have been dealing with somebody that had you in a third party situation and you weren't really trusting your intuition um, but I think you decided, you realized, hey, this is, this is throwing me off balance. This is, you know, this is um, putting my equilibrium in jeopardy. And so you did, made a decision to walk away. It could be that this person is coming in to offer you the stability because they're realizing here, 
you know, Scorpio has gone cold, gone silent on me because the princess of swords can also be a message coming in. But I feel like Scorpio, you're actually telling somebody off. Okay. <laughs> and, and whether you're actually doing that or whether it's just in your actions, like they're recognizing their fear, feeling, fearing maybe even, but also hearing that you're silent in a really big way, but you're, you're ready to cut yourself free of anything that's been keeping you away from keeping you out of balance or keeping you away from, uh, from your divine counter part or your, um, you know, or just this balanced energy. You know, I like, I really like this reading for you, Scorpio. So we get the world card coming out twice. So this is a brilliant success. Scorpio, you guys really are this karma. You deserve this. You deserve this freedom. You deserve love. You deserve balance. You guys have been really doing the work. Double confirmation of the world. It doesn't get better than that. 21, um, you know, breaks down to a three. So we have three, three, three important angel number or um, numerological sequence for you guys to pay attention to. 33 being the master number, the master, master teacher number. So this is about learning lessons and not repeating mistakes of the past. Huge success. And that's what's bringing in balance. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Something here wasn't able to take root. Um, there may be somebody, you know, particular. This could be a relationship. It could be a job as well. But somebody was, was. I feel like they were taking you for granted, Scorpio. And it's a missed opportunity. And with a very heavy heart, you've made a tough decision. But you know what it is you need to do. You know what it is that you need to say. All right, yeah, look at that. Somebody that wasn't, somebody that wasn't open to commitment or wasn't emotionally available or wasn't, you know, listening to you or wasn't willing to do the work or wasn't willing to meet you halfway. So what I'm seeing though, Scorpio is exactly for some of you guys, you coming into alignment, you sort of telling them off, you making this decision is not only bringing you your 1111, it may be bringing this person, they're, feel, they're feeling, fearing and hearing your silence, Scorpio. So I feel like somebody here is, you know, really feeling the activation of the cord here um, Scorpio and those of you dealing with a twin because you're pulling back you're ready for balance you want no BS yeah look at that four of wands in reverse so we have 44 coming out really strong we have three fours as well Scorpio you're leaving somebody behind because you're ready to manifest you're ready to manifest the relationship that you want the love that you want the partnership you know it's not all about romance but it's about being met halfway Scorpio and I feel like you're not going to put up with anything less than for some of you guys again it's you know you're, you're walking away from this situation because it wasn't able to give you stability and there was somebody here that wasn't emotionally available it's their loss but I see you in this world energy you know what you have to do for some of you guys it may call them back in but truthfully Scorpio you know what I'm getting I'm feeling like many of you guys with a very heavy heart you're cutting them loose you're like you know what I realize and if you had a hard time leaving somebody behind Scorpio it's because this was a karmic you know it was a karmic situation all right, but you've learned the lessons and you guys may have spent many past lives together. Now for others of you, you know, you do need to trust your intuition. I love that we have four of wands coming out twice. That's 11, 11, 11, 11. So you guys pay attention to that number sequence. Some of you guys, you are on a twin flame journey. Um, and you know, and it may be that you guys are in separation or you decided to separate, but that's in order for you to heal and clear this karma. You're going to, you're going to feel a huge weight lifted off of you, Scorpio. And again, I feel like it's activating this cord that somebody's going to realize what they've lost. Okay. So the physical activity here is beautiful. So this is about getting out into nature. Some of my Scorpios out there, I'm getting with this five of pentacles. You could be suffering um, with your health. Um, I love this Virgo and Gemini energy. I do see a beautiful healing here taking place. Um, so importance of physical activity and trusting your intuition. The master builder number. Okay, the master builder number 22. This does speak to balance and partnership and harmony. So trust your intuition here, Scorpio. Some of you guys, again, you're doing something, you may have been holding on to a person or a relationship or situation for a long time, okay? And, you know, it may seem counterintuitive to release it, but there's something here that's happened, like you're recognizing that you need to do this in order for things to change, in order to have what it is that you, that you truly want. So I'm gonna pull a final card. This is from the Isis Oracle. Um, by Alana Fairchild, and we're going to get some final advice for you. So 
some of you guys, I do feel like you've, you've been sick for a little bit or you've been in bed. It could be just, you know, it could be that you just retreated to bed, not feeling, you know, that great. Um, Spirit saying it's time to get up and out of the house or out of the bed if you can. Some of you guys, again, are recuperating from an illness. So you guys get initiation, spiritual testing of Ra and the Lady Isis. All right, so let's see what um, the advice is here. Oh, I was looking. Okay, so when you're being spiritually initiated into the mysteries of light, love, and power, there are moments of deep challenge. Yeah, and this and this this full moon with the difficult aspects definitely presents a challenge here, Scorpio. The key is to find the light within the challenge, the learning, growth, or wisdom that can be summoned to turn the challenge into an opportunity for healing. While the scorching heat of Ra seeks to burn through any resistance, the Lady Isis with compassion and cleverness will protect you from burning and in instead enable you to be nourished and grow from the light of Ra. Let Isis help you pass this test of intense growth as you thrive with new life. And that is exactly why the world card is showing up twice for us, Scorpio. Okay, because it's freedom. It's freedom from the bondage of past karma. You guys are healing. It has been a major challenge, but there are major breakthroughs and success. Okay, so, um, and I also feel here with the four of wands in reverse, this is you guys holding out for the one knowing what you deserve and what what no longer serves you and there are there is a beautiful blessing on the horizon and its stability okay so i'm sending you lots of love and light take care